Hey guys, it's Dylan, and I missed you guys last week. We had the week off, but now I'm back, and I've been getting a lot of questions about what kind of strings I use and what tension I string at, so today I'm going to be doing a stringing video. So a lot of people play tennis and don't break strings, but the reason why I break a lot is because I hit with a lot of topspin, and when you hit with topspin, you're not going straight onto the ball. You're really brushing up on the ball, and it's going to make less of a noise, and then the strings start to move around and rub up against each other and then they get all fuzzy and they eventually snap like these. So I used to not break strings that often but now that um, I'm getting stronger I break strings every one to two days so my dad decided to get a stringing machine because it would be a lot more cost effective other than bringing in a racket to the stringer every single one to two days and we could just bring it home, string it, and then go back out. So the first thing you want to do when you break strings is um, cut the strings off the racket because if you don't, um, it happened to me once at a big tournament, I string pretty tight and the tension buckled and my racket collapsed so I don't want that to happen again so the first thing I do is cut out the strings. Now there's a way you have to do it so um, I'm not sure why so I think it's so the racket doesn't crack or anything but you have to cut in a square so you're gonna start from one line somewhere in the middle so you're gonna go sorry, you're gonna go one here here, here, and here, and then just keep going out as you go. So then there, there. So the first thing you do on the stringer is set the tension. Now you're probably wondering what that is. Tension is basically how tight you want to string it in a scale of pounds. So the tighter you string, the more control you're going to get but you're giving up power too. So I already have a lot of power, so I string tighter at 60, which is pretty tight for most people, but I still get the power I need and I get even better control. So as you can see now, it's done. It's been about 30 minutes since I last spoke to you. Um, all you need to do is cut the last string and then just stencil it. There we go. Alright, so here's where I usually stencil my racket so the paint doesn't get everywhere. Um, I use this stencil and I put it on my racket so because Yonex likes me too, they like me to represent their company and it also looks cool on the racket. Alright, so the racket's all done now, um, just needs a few minutes to dry, and then I'm ready to go. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to Gen Z. Peace!